Hello everyone, uh, it's Richard Lewis here, it's time for another video, Sam is in the background, he's having a hover. <clears throat> the, this is a crazy one, because obviously you, you'll have seen the title, you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what, what's happened to this channel? I don't know, uh, either, really, I don't know how to answer that question. Here's what I can say, Counter-Strike, obviously a game I love, you all know that, it's a game I, you know, I work in, it's, it's, it was my bread and butter for a very long period of time. Uh, but it's got a new hero. There's no other way to put this. There, there is somebody out there who has achieved a, a status that that I, I just I, I never thought possible. I never thought that someone could do something so memorable, so incredible, so funny, heart touching, and and yeah, and and and, and touching. Uh, certainly touching is an appreciate word. <laughs> there, this, this is insane. So there was a guy uh, who went to the recent uh, ESL uh, New York event, ESL 1 New York. It was a great tournament, by the way. Uh, if you're new to Counter-Strike, new to this channel, do yourself a favor. Go away and watch the Virtus Pro versus SK Gaming series. It's a semi-final. Absolutely incredible. I mean, there was great games all tournament, but just go watch that series right now. If you think, oh, I don't know if I could enjoy a competitive game of Counter-Strike, go watch that fucking series. It's incredible. But something else happened at the tournament that was incredible. A guy had decided that he was going to have a bit of fun at the expense of one of the greatest players to ever touch CSGO, Olaf Meister from Fnatic. And there's this trend now because we're trying to hype up esports because it used to be a bit pathetic. Like anyone who's ever watched a StarCraft player at a DreamHack try and open a bottle of champagne uh, when they win knows that, you know, we're not we're not very cool in esports no matter how hard we try. So we're trying to get cooler. So now we do this thing where the players come in and it's like, na 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 And they're like, yeah, yeah, like it's a UFC thing, you know? Like, NIP Ooh. even had their own music made, do you remember? Ninjas, yeah, yeah, ninjas, yeah, yeah. ninjas in yeah. hours. Yeah, terrible. Uh, that? that was pretty good in Dream Act Winter, though, I remember. That was pretty banging. In yeah, the, like, my amphitheater seating. Not my cup of tea, though. <laughs> no, not, my, not my cup of tea. Not a hype guy, man. Unless, you know, dude, what about Richard? Richard? No, Richard's losing eyesight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I am <laughs> rich. Richard is losing eyesight. But I'm glad that I was able to see this uh, before that happens. So <laughs> they're doing the whole like, woo! Na na na, na na na, na na na, high five, na na na. They're coming in through the crowd. And one dude just holds up instead of his hand, he holds up what must be easily. <laughs> A foot long oh, yeah, yeah. black dildo, <laughs> and I mean, Just it is it palms him. <laughs> a dog. It is a detailed dildo. It is a fucking yeah, detailed veiny. dildo. It's got the veins. It's got the bell end. It's got the eye in the tip. The old hog's eye. It's got the banjo string. <laughs> it's got everything. It is an anatomically correct penis. For, uh, you know. If you are an absolute fucking powerhouse, an absolute stallion, <laughs> and he holds it up, and all off mics, they just high fives the <laughs> shit out of the tip. He just boom. I'm just gonna high five the bell and slap. It's so good. Like I've been you watching. You see the this kid whole... rising up as well. He's like hiding. Wait, wait, wait. Bang! Yeah. Right into the end. Bang! Brilliant. Right into the pocket. Right here. Like, boom. <laughs> Bell end, just having a squeak. Just right squeak in the top bends. And look, Olaf Meister doesn't even know he's done it. He doesn't no. even know he's touched a massive black bell end. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know that's happened. He literally doesn't know. Like, and the thing is, it's like, it's a fucking, it's a massive black dick. <laughs> you know, it, it's a black plastic dick. There's no way. Silicone, mate, probably. Come on, not plastic. Yeah, true, actually. It is a bit <laughs> wobbly, right? Sorry. Uh, you know, dildos aren't my strong point. Um, you know, but but like, it, it, there's no way because it's not flesh colored, is what I'm trying nah. to say. <laughs> just, in case, just in case you think, uh, oh, well, why'd you keep saying the word black? I mean, literally black, the color. I'm not talking about you know race or anything. What I mean is that it is it's not flesh colored. So you know, even if you were like, no, 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 oh, that's the fuck. He's got a bit of a weird hand. You know what I mean? Like, who, who the fuck's that guy? You know, it, you couldn't mistake it. This is this doesn't look like flesh. 
It's all I've made. It's obviously just in a fucking daze, you know, trying to concentrate on the game and slap. He just <laughs> slaps that bell end. Slaps that bell end. Boy. Un- <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, just, mate, it's hypnotic, mate, boy. It, it's the way it would just bend. Like, whack. Like, just look at it. Just look at it, man. It's so fucking good. It's whack. <laughs> Whack. I mean, shit, man. You could do this like the fucking the Kennedy assassination movie, the Sapruda film, back and to the left. Just look at it back and to the left. That shot again, back and to the left. The bell end goes back and to the left. <laughs> and it was the lone high five. The lone high five theory. So ridiculous. Like, I just so fucking amped up to see this. Now, <laughs> Like, no, it, it's so stupid, right? Like, in all my years of Counter-Strike, I'm, like, psyched that someone brought a black dildo. <laughs> it's so fucking immature. It's that so immature. So I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself, but it's so fucking funny, dude. Like, I, I just I had to laugh at this. Like, the guy is obviously a legend. Now, here's, here's where it gets fucking really funny. I went on uh, Twitter, like, you know, because obviously where people put a big black dildo, uh, in in the hands of one of the best player best players in the world, obviously people are going to talk about this shit, right? So so I went on to Twitter, uh, and uh, you know what's what's happening over there? Like so, uh, <laughs> if I can, you can see first up Bardolph, of course, the legend, the man, the myth, James Bardolph, high fiving a big black dildo has made my year. Right, he's right, it made my year too, James. I'm glad we agree on that. Uh, Taz, he's having a laugh. Right? <laughs> he's just straight buckled, like, as, which is the only reaction to it. Um, and this is what I love about Counter Strike as well, because you could just imagine if this was any other esports. Can you imagine if this was League of Legends, dude? Oh my god! Imagine, Can you imagine it, like if someone pulled out a big black dildo during fucking world. <laughs> just spewed <laughs> across the lips. <laughs> He's lost it. He's lost it. Imagine, though. Yeah, I know. It's all over. It's all over. Just double lift getting bounced off a side. The edge was just an enormous still do it. That's it. It's game over. They just they just shut the game down. That'd be it. Peak (laughs) peak toxicity. Peak toxicity. Like would just be reached, and they would just shut the whole thing down. So you see, Taz is having a laugh, right? He's having a laugh, right? And then Olaf Olaf asks the question that I, I look I know Olaf he's got a wicked sense of humor so this is obviously a fucking joke he goes just one question how did he get it in now some people some people took this serious like yeah I mean guts isn't security so bad like first of all okay look I'm all for uh, security at, uh, at esports events I think we all know that right uh, based on my own personal experiences. And, you know, I've said it many times, actually. Quite a serious issue. Perhaps not to shoehorn it into a video <laughs> about dildos, right? But, um, you know, it is serious. Like, you know, it's only a matter of time, I think, before there's someone attempts to do something a little bit crazy. Certainly, I've been threatened. Lots of people have been threatened. You know, so obviously, I'm all for security events. But here's the thing. Imagine you're a security guard, right? Uh, you're giving someone a frisk. And you're like, you got any, you got any weapons no. on your person? No. Dangerous? No, absolutely not. And you give him a frisk, and you go down, and in, in oh, sir, what's what's that bulge there, sir? Uh, oh, oh, well, you know, you can just take it out and see. I'll just put my hands and feel free to take it. And he just pulls it out, like one of them fucking, you know, the, the, like a clown the, the, pulling the yeah, the, the handkerchief. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, out it comes, and it's it's, it's, it's you know, the, the foot long, eighteen inch, fucking, you know rubber dick and <laughs> and and what's the security guard gonna say sorry sir your 18 inch rubber dick is uh against the there ain't no rules <laughs> there, ain't, there ain't no rules about a dildo I, i've been going to esports events for how long I, I ain't never seen no rules about a dildo you you ever been told you know right don't bring guns <laughs> knives and rubber dicks there that's <laughs> that's the fucking limit the rubber dick the rubber, that, that's it, right? The, the, the next thing in the grand chain of contraband. They're above even drugs, right? But, you know, bring bring weed, but just don't bring dicks. <laughs> so, so obviously, you know, there's nothing you could do. You would have to, like, just, you know, let him keep his rubber dick. You know, it's, but for all, you know, you, you know he might want to use that, right? Like, you don't know what it's there for. You don't know he's going to high-five all of my stuff with it. You don't know that. <sighs> you don't know that. So Samla says, uh, one of those questions when you wonder if you really need the answer, and it's, it's true. I mean, I, I guess it's what Olofmeister is implying 
Where has that been? I hope Olaf Meister washed his fucking hands. That's all I'm going to say. All right. How far do you reckon this needed to go for the player to break, right? So if this guy, like, literally poked it against Olaf's lips, right? Do you think. Why? Why are you obsessed with No, with because I'm just, I just want to know, right? Right. He slapped against his hand. Ha ha, funny. Now, if he pokes it against him, are we. Are, like, how far is the level until it's unacceptable? Look, you know it's I mean? the thing. I, look, uh, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll be the voice of reason <laughs> in, a, in a wilderness of crazy rubber dicks, right? <laughs> so, so just just hear me out here. Like, just putting it in his hand as he walks past. Pretty fucking funny. Yeah. Right? Obviously sticking it in someone's face. It wouldn't matter if it was a dick or not, right? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. just sticking anything in someone's face is really egregious. And, you know, if fucking Olaf Meister fucking lashed out, I think he'd be well within his rights to do it. But obviously, look, the guy wanted to do a joke, but he's <laughs> kind of a fan. He's, you know, it, it's not the most respectful thing, but it's not like he went, <laughs> and I like, just wrapped it right in. There. It's not like that, right? <laughs> Y'all buckled it. Is, I just, no, I just, literally I just keep having a vision of Bukes and getting it in the in the lips with a dildo. But, no, why? but like why are you sitting at his chair playing? Someone just launches it from the nose. Yeah, and just, all just, all of these things will be bad. These will be bad. Uh, this is, this, pause this, game. Pause. Game. <laughs> we need a timeout. Literally, yeah, it's just cold. Been hit by a flying thing. <laughs> right. So so anyway, there's there's some fucking gold on social media about this. I gotta read this. Like Jesus Christ, uh, it, right at the bottom, tra- Treo analyst. I mean, he spells dildo wrong, right? So it, it makes it pretty. Didlo, the fucking didlo, right? But a dildo, dildo isn't a weapon. Dildo is a toy for pussy. It's a toy for lots of orifices, mate. You can do lots of things with that. Don't be so close-minded. Don't be sexist. But the bottom line is, you know, he's right. He's, I, I have to agree with him. It's not a weapon, is it? Could not be. a weapon. I mean, yeah, actually. No, yeah, because that happens in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoker Barrels. Doesn't someone get beaten to death with a big rubber dick in that? Lock, Stock, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Mate. It's been many years <laughs> since I watched that. But I'm pretty sure. Anyway, that's by the by. So, look. This is fucking hilarious. Again, <laughs> I, I I love I love that in Counter Strike we can all be you know like adult about our immaturity if you know what I mean. Like we can have a laugh about it. This is super funny. Uh, obviously, I, I trust fans to not take things too far. I think we got a pretty good fan base, a pretty respectful fan base. You know, I've been there uh, when people have formed impromptu queues. You know, I've never seen anyone get too swamped, too mobbed. Um, you know, I think everybody understands that this is just a bit of fun. And it is it is a legendary moment. I, you know, ESL might be a little bit embarrassed, but I hope not. I hope they can, I hope the director of memes or whatever can have some fun with it. This is, this is funny, all right? And maybe I shouldn't be saying that. I don't even know anymore. I don't know where the line is anymore. Like how mature am I supposed to be? But I think it's I do think it's funny. If I have to issue an apology video saying it's not funny and no rubber dicks and events, please. Uh, you know, that maybe that'll come. But but just know deep in my heart I do think it's funny. So this got me and Sam thinking about another legendary moment where somebody got owned with a fucking dildo. Right. And don't worry, this is fucking suitable for work. You can you can this, I mean, you, you can keep playing this. It's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. This is just fucking funny. So uh I, a lot of guys might have missed this fucking story. It's quite old. It, it does go back uh, you know, some distance. Seven years. Well it's a seven years old story. Uh and it's one of the best things I ever saw on the fucking <laughs> internet, right? So it's up there. A man united fan. Right, went on holiday, um, and he was out in Spain, I think it was, right? Uh, and and he, oh no, sorry, Cancun, it was Mexico. And uh, basically, he was out there on a resort, and Manchester United fans and Liverpool fans, for those of you who don't know, uh, they they have a rivalry, you know. Manchester United are kind of the best team in the modern era. Liverpool, obviously, that classic era had a team that dominated some incredible football, um, you know. And 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 there's a lot of rivalry there, a lot of banter. And British people like to banter anyway. So while they were out on holiday, these two guys had a well, these two factions, you know. This this chap called uh, Stuart Slan. No relation to the Slans from League of Legends, I hope. Uh, but, but Stuart Slan and these Scouse lads had a bit of a, an altercation. Um, and and for what I can glean from what we're about to play you uh, is that basically uh, the fucking... 
the fucking the, the scouts wanted the Manchester United fan to sing a song. He didn't want to sing a song glorifying Liverpool, so they launched him into the pool. But it wasn't a happy landing. He actually broke his ankle, uh, which is a bit egregious. But then anyway, because they thought he was a bit of a twat, when they got back home, the Scousers went onto the internet, right? Created a fake girl on Facebook and added him and started to lure him into a relationship. Uh, anyway, this guy was married. Stuart Slan was married, the Manchester United fan. So he decided uh, that, you know, fuck it, I'm going to have a bit of a sly one away from the missus and that. And uh, they made him drive all the way up to Aberdeen, right, to fucking go and fucking, uh, you know, consummate this affair with somebody who didn't exist. But before that, they were obviously sexting and fucking, you know, exchanging these things. And they made him suck on a pink dildo, right? So they made him send photos of himself sucking a pink rampant rabbit i think it is yeah yeah. that's right yeah thank you uh (laughs) no he's sucking on this pink dildo in his mouth you know as part of this erotic courtship right so anyway he drives up to fucking aberdeen he sat around like a fucking plum waiting for this uh fictitious woman to turn up and meet him and then the fucking scousers call him uh anyway i'll we'll play the video this is fucking unbelievable So there you go. That is one of the most fucking brutal <laughs> pranks I've ever heard. Like, Just I've... so unnecessarily angry yeah. as well. Yeah. You didn't like... sing, so I'm going to ruin your fucking life. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah and, and I broke my ankle. 
I don't give a fuck how wound you right I, up. <laughs> you fell in love with me on that computer? <laughs> Suck it on a pink dildo. <laughs> right. The best bit, though, for me, mate. The fucking best bit. <laughs> then he go, how do you feel? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's the fucking understatement of the fucking year. Sat in Aberdeen to meet a bird who doesn't <laughs> absolutely wrecked after a shit holiday where you got your fucking ankle broke. Holy shit. It never gets fucking old. That is one of the most fucking <laughs> savage pranks I have ever seen. Look, he's joking. He's gone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, man. <laughs> Oh, um, mate. just the fact that all he did was not sing a song, so they broke his ankle, ruined his marriage, published well, him sucking a dildo, <laughs> <laughs> ruined him emotionally. It is, it is unnecessary. Yeah, fair, boys. Yeah. That, <laughs> well, I think, I think we're about, we'll call it quits, right? <laughs> it's unbelievable. And this is the thing as well. In this uh, piece, InsideWorldSoccer.com, I don't, uh, you know, don't know why this is a world soccer story, but um. They, they had a, a chat with Stuart, and he says, uh, I'd been chatting to this girl on Facebook for about a month or so. I really thought she was genuine. I had no reason to doubt it. On the night she asked me to Scotland, I was on the road for about nine hours. And then when I got to this remote farm, she sent me a text to say she was still in work. And that's what made it worse. Not only had I driven for nine hours, but I had to wait for another three and a half for her to finish work. <laughs> so he's, been, he's just literally 12 hours, like, then, then when I got the call to say it was all a hoax, I just felt awful. If they had asked to drive to Manchester, Leeds, or even Liverpool, it wouldn't have been so bad. Maybe I'd have seen the funny side. But it dragged me all the way to Aberdeen. Was just cool. like, fuck all of that. Obviously, his wife found out about it, left him. Marriage is done. Peace. The Peace marriage now. is now over. <laughs> it is. The marriage is now over. The idea, like, uh, uh, oh, if I'd driven down to the Manchester, seen the funny would sound, would we laugh? How philosophical is this guy? But, uh, you know, there you go. So, obviously, made to suck a dildo. Disgraced on the internet forever. Although, I, I don't know what the problem is, really. I mean... To be fair, he's not, he's not even put any effort into sucking that dildo. No. Nah, he looks really unenthusiastic. Like, you know what I mean? Just like, fucking hell. Just yeah. in there. Yeah, you're, you're, you're enjoying that, are you? I mean, you know, the things you do to get laid, right? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck it oh, uh, You know what's really hot? Sucking a dildo. Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. How, how, how long? <laughs> Till I blow my beans. <laughs> Wait, blow your beans? So anyway, it, it, I just it's just a ridiculous story. It's one of the things I love. It's one of the funniest things I ever saw on the internet. I wanted to put this out there just so... Uh, you can see that uh, it wasn't just Olaf Meister who got wrecked by a dildo. It could be a lot worse, Olaf, so keep your sense of humour. Anyway, thanks for watching this departure. Real news and all that good stuff's coming back soon. We'll see you next time.